In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix no sound and no microphone on a Dell Latitude E6320 laptop. Okay, now the problem is when you try to install the driver for the sound card, it doesn't work. So if you go to Device Manager, right over here, you're going to see a yellow triangle next to the high definition audio controller, which is the driver. And if you try to update it, it's just going to say that the best drivers for the device are already installed. So it knows the drivers there, it installs it. The problem is it doesn't work. Now if you go to update drivers, you right click on the high definition audio controller, it's going to tell you the best drivers for your device are already installed. Now if you go to search for updated drivers in Windows Update, what's going to happen is the Windows Update screen is going to appear and it's going to show you this green check, meaning you did all the updates already it's just going to show the screen and there's nothing else that you can do to update this driver and what's happening here is that the driver is being detected it's installed there's no later updates it just doesn't work in order for the driver to work it needs the underlying chipsets to make it work so the latest updated chipsets are what is required to make the sound work and they are not available on Dell's site they need to be obtained somewhere else as you can see right here, it says this device cannot start, a code comes up, operation failed, the update doesn't work, and as a result, the speaker icon right here shows that it's muted. I'm going to show you how to fix it. The first thing you need to do is to make sure that the driver is installed in the way that you can extract the files. Don't install the driver running it through Windows. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So go to the Dell Latitude E6320 Drivers and Downloads page. Select Windows 7 64-bit. Type Audio. Enter. Now what you're going to need is the audio driver, which is right here. Now instead of download, use the drop-down arrow. Now scroll down. Go to View Full Driver Details. Scroll down. Now use the second option where it says zip pack external. Go to download. Save file. Okay, once it's finished downloading, open it. Okay, now go to continue. Now select the area where you want the files to go. So I'm going to choose desktop to make it more convenient. Go to OK. OK. As you can see, all the files are starting to download. They're starting to appear on the desktop. Go to OK. Now it's going to try to install it, but don't install it. So just go to cancel. Finish. Next thing you need to do is to go to Device Manager, go to System Devices, go to High Definition Audio Controller, right click, and go to Uninstall Device. And after you go to Uninstall Device, you're no longer going to see High Definition Audio Controller in this section. It's going to be gone. Okay, now the next thing you need to do is to right click on Setup, go to Properties. Go to Compatibility and select Windows 7. In the drop down, you have various operating systems. Make sure Windows 7 is selected. OK. You need to make sure you have the latest chipsets. So go back to, to the Drivers and Downloads page. Make sure everything comes up for this computer. And make sure to install all the chipset. So wherever it says chipset, go to show all. Okay, all of them. Wherever it says chipset, install all of them. And also install the system BIOS. Okay. Now after you install that, go back to setup and then proceed to install 
the audio driver. Now, if it doesn't work and you get this error, the next thing you need to do is to get the latest chipsets. And Dell does not have the very latest ones. So if you're getting an interruption and you get this error which is preventing the driver from being installed, next thing you need to do is to go to drivermax.com. Now they give you two free updates a day, so go to download, install it. And once you install the software, DriverMax will detect your system and then it's going to display a bunch of results. Now make sure this is important to install the chipsets that come up. Here are some of the results that came up. So one of them, as you can see, is the high definition audio controller. It came up that this driver is up to date. So it didn't give me the driver itself. However, it gave me the chipsets. The chipsets that came up were more current than the ones that are in drivers and downloads page on Dell's website. So we're going to see a screen that looks like this. So make sure to install the Intel chipset controllers, anything pertaining to chipset controller, install them. You may also see a Bluetooth driver that comes up, install that as well. So the latest chipset that comes up, it's gonna be according to date. That will be very important, make sure to install that. After you install those, go back to the setup and attempt to install the audio driver again. Now what happened in this case, when I went to DriverMax at the latest updated chipsets, I then attempted to install the driver and it froze up. However, in the corner of my eye, I noticed speakers and microphone were working. So the chipsets actually were able to get the sound to work, even though as I was running the setup, it just froze up in the middle. But this just happened in the corner of my eye. I can't tell exactly which one happened first, but it seems like the chipsets were the reason why the sound wasn't working. See, the chipsets underlie the sound. It's the underlying requirement to make the sound work. You have to have the latest chipsets in place, and this is what made it work. So there you go. That is how to fix the sound and microphone on a Dell Latitude E6320 laptop. So I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please show your support for this channel by subscribing. Feel free to leave comments. Please like up this video, and thank you for tuning in.